Hi guys, today we're gonna learn how to model this champagne bottle and afterwards I will make a part where I'll show you how to render it. So this is official uh, bottle that I made in Fusion 360 and after the render it looked like something like this. This is a project for a client. So today I'm gonna show you how to model it so properly so you can render later later on in other program. You cannot do this in Fusion. So we're gonna use in other other tutorials we're gonna use Keyshot. In this first part we're gonna use Fusion 360. So uh, let's get started. Okay, first of all, we're gonna open a new design. We're gonna uncheck the origin so we can see it because it's hidden. So if you don't see it, just press this eyeball. Okay, so we're gonna look our canvas from the front view and we're gonna select the Y plane and we're gonna insert canvas, sorry. You can do it here, press on the, the lower button and you can see here canvas, press canvas image, select the image you will use as a reference, open it. Sorry, I didn't select the plane I wanted to uh, reference my image. And now we're gonna scale it a little bit because Fusion change our dimensions. Okay, uh, init initially dimensions. So we're gonna start working. Try to find a middle point of your canvas, and when you s you're satisfied, press OK. Now we need to create our sketch. So we're gonna press create sketch, we're gonna select our Y plane, so this, and we're gonna start from drawing the lines from the middle out. So we're gonna create first line with our line tool, we're gonna pull it outwards from the middle. Again, when you're satisfied, press where you wanna finish your model where you want to finish your line, sorry, and then select the fit point spline tool. Create, uh, select the, the, the last point you drew and drew another one again. So we're gonna again take our line tool for the straight line. And again, we're gonna take our spline tool for our curve lines. I missed here a little bit. Go a little bit closer so I can see better. Okay, and select this part. part. Okay, like this. So we're gonna take our select tool and fix little little errors that we made. So we're gonna select this part, this part. In this part okay now here we're gonna select this little green points and we're gonna pull it till we find the curve we need okay like so and when we are satisfied with the look we can select the upper part so here just a second to turn my origin off. So we have this lower part of our bottle. We don't want to select this, we just want to select this upper part. So, like so, and we're gonna use our offset. If you don't have it here, just press modify menu and take offset. The shortcut is O. So we're gonna pull this blue handle inwards so we get the minus minus option and we're gonna type in 0 0.25 okay 
when we're done with that, we're gonna press OK. Also, yes, OK. And now we're gonna again take our spline before we close because we're gonna draw a dot a little bit over our inside dot. Mm. We're gonna close it like this, and now we're gonna take select tool and we're gonna fix this line a little bit upwards, not too much, like this. So the the last part is to close our our sketch from every side. So like this. Okay, and when you did it. You will probably be able to see uh, the cloth that is closed by graying out this area, and when you press on it, it will be blue, like so. So the next part is to finish the sketch and to revolve it around our y-axis. So we're gonna take our revolve, and so if you already have selected this blue part. Then you you can or just a second I will remove it and then I will select it with this. Now we need to select our X. We want to revolve it on and this is our Y X. And just like so, we create our bubble. So we can, I will just remove hide the canvas for a second so you can see this is our bubble part. So the next part is a little bit heavier. To create uh, it's our cap so we're gonna look from the front and we're gonna construct a plane for that we're gonna use construct and we're gonna select the bottom plane you will see then the blue arrow and you will pull it up like so look from the front and try to find where your cap starts when you're done with that just press ok and select the part the plane the plane you just made so like this when it's blue you know you have selected the plane press create form and now we're gonna create a cylinder the cylinder we will make will be a little bigger but we will fix it just extrude it a little bit outwards just like so we will Hide the canvas for a moment so we can better see where is our bubble. Okay, it's a too, little too big, so we're gonna make it a little bit smaller, not that much. I will make it like 4.8, maybe 4.9. Okay, 4.9 is good. So uh, now just add a little bit more faces. You can choose the symmetry uh, here, circular symmetry. That is what we need. And now we're gonna create our cap. So after you're done with this, just press OK. And this part is will be adding faces. So we will select the face we want add. We want add more faces too. So we're gonna select the modify button and insert edge. Uh, we wanna insert edge from the both sides. So here insert insertion side, you will select both. And now we will select a smaller insertion side, like 20, 20. Okay, 20 is good. Let's insert. Okay, now we're gonna select other edge. Again, we're gonna repeat insert edge you can uh, come to this menu if you don't know how just right click on the canvas and it will give you the uh, the the menu the top the top option is the last option you just did so we're gonna repeat insert edge and we're gonna add some more edges to our cap insert edge okay and insert edge okay 
going to find it. Okay, now when we have inserted our edges, we will start to modify it, modify them. Uh, so we will do that with modify edit form. And now when you're in edit form mode, you will have this little options that you can see handles you can move out you can rotate it or you can free from free form move it so i like to use this little square so i can free form move the edges like ever i want and now st start to make the ripples from the paper The more you add time to this part, the more realistically it will look in the later parts, in the finish, sorry. So try to be more accurate. And this will take some time and we will do this quickly for the sake of the time of the video so try to play with this however you want however you need maybe you have some real photos so you can uh, copy it that will be the, the best practice uh, for getting the more realistic look of the ripples. Okay. Okay. Let's say we are satisfied with this. So the next step is to modify this down down part so again we're gonna say modify edit form just we will shrink it a little bit and this upper part we will shrink even more like this now the last part is modified uh, fill a hole so this option will fill this hole but uh, Please do use reduce star because fill star will maybe crash your uh, crash your PC or Mac, uh, and so you need to set this to reduce star. When you did that, just select the edge you wanna fill the hole, and this is this one, and it will automatically fill your hole for you. When you're done with this made your cap so the next part uh, is to finish sorry uh, finish the form so we can see how it looks like okay we went a little bit in I can see it, it here and we didn't what did don't want that so we're gonna press on our form in our timeline and just double click it and it will bring us back to edit our form uh, we need to pull this part a little bit out so we're gonna again edit form not that much just a slight okay and maybe we're gonna move this a little bit inwards not too much like so <clears throat> now we're gonna finish form again again this is not perfect uh, you need to play with this more but we don't have the time so afterwards just when you're done with this and when you're fine with how it looks again turn on your canvas and try to find 
the right point of the paper. So which paper? Uh, this is the paper I'm talking about. So you see this part here. So the ripples from the cap and this part. Now we're gonna take our line tool. So we're gonna create our sketch. First, select the side and we're gonna draw a line where we need our paper to stand and we're gonna press the green arrow. Finish the sketch and now we drew our line. So the next part is to divide our body. We will do that with command uh, split body. So you need to select the body you want to split, body to split. So we're gonna split our body and we are splitting tool. We will take our line that we just created. When we're done with that, it will split our body for us automatically. So now if you look in your body folder, you will see that you have three bodies. Okay, this is what you want. So the last part is actually very easy. We will turn our canvas off. And we will come to our render settings. And we will take our appearance panel and we will search for gold. Okay, gold polished. Okay, and we will select our cap and our paper. And actually, this is it, guys. So now you can go and fix if you need even more fixing, but I'm like, I'm liking the way my bottle looks. So, but actually that is it for this part of tutorial. The next part is actually something else. It, it's rendering and adding glass to our bottle and lighting. So let me know if you want me to create the next part of tutorial. Please like my content and my videos and give any any suggestions, whatever you want, whatever you think I should make. If you need some help, ask. I will, I will reply to your uh, comments gladly. Thank you and hope you hope I see you next time in the next video.